In this chapter, I go over the changes I made to the water catchment system so that it actually uses gravity to dynamically fill up the water tank. Fill her up, Mother Nature. Okay, so I'm actually going to show you this little contraption that I built, which basically functions as a gravity fill for the freshwater tank. So as you can see, there's the uh, rain clouds are coming. So uh, it's time to get all set up. Normally I don't even take this off, but I took it off so that, you know, I could show people. Um, basically it's just a, a fitting, right? So this is a, a strainer. This is a, a PVC type thread adapter to a um, regular garden hose type adapter. Um, and then of course it goes from three quarter inch to uh, two inch. And then there's just a rubber fitting. You put this on the purge valve of the fresh water tank, hook up a hose, it goes to the, the catchment system, the catchment arms, and you'll see that in a minute. And basically the water just flows down through the hose and fills up the water tank this RV is actually not equipped with a real gravity fill. Um, their version of gravity fill is, oh, you use the water pump and you can get a bucket of water and you can siphon stuff in, but it requires the water pump, which to me is not gravity fill. Um, this is actually straight up gravity fill. I'm gonna go put this thing back on and uh, then I'll show you the rest of the contraption. So as you can see, this is my freshwater purge valve, and it just fits on here like this. Just a regular hose clamp. And of course, every so often, while the rain system, while the rain catchment system is in operation, so to speak, um, afterwards, this little filter. That basically fills out all the dirt and stuff that gets stuck in, uh, uh, that, that gets stuck while it's filling up. Uh, I just rinse that out and then put it right back in. Okay. Okay, so these are the pieces of the water catchment system that hooks up to the gutters. So effectively these go on to the gutters um, that hook up to these two arms, which go to this T-junction, which essentially converts um, the PVC uh, type fitting into a regular hose fitting, which then goes on to that filter that I showed you, which hooks onto the um, purge valve of the fresh water tank and fills up the water tank. Pretty much the way that this thing goes on is, you know, oops this piece in like this. Tighten it up. These arms are two completely identical parts. All right, they just hook into this, this, this T. And this is, this is the system. Then those 90 degree um, fittings go on each of these ends and then they're angled to uh, to fit toward the gutter. I didn't attach them with any type of uh, glue or anything because I want to be able to, to adjust them.
course I have to sweep out the gutter and make sure that nothing's blocking it. I mean, that should just be done on a regular basis regardless of if you have a catchment system or not. So now we'll get the hose. Then we hook, we hook up one end to the catchment system and the other end to that doohickey down there. That's the setup, and all I have to do is, as soon as it starts raining, I just pull the, the fill valve, uh, or the purge valve, which <laughs> is now a fill valve. Uh, it'll fill up the hose um, up to the water level, and it will release all of the air bubbles that are in the, in the hose line. And then as soon as it rains, you know, gravity will just keep the, the, the system level, um, which will effectively fill the tank. And yeah. Now we just gotta wait for it to rain. So, one of the top questions, why did I build this catchment system? I built it because I don't like going to a campground and filling up with water. I build it more as a convenience. Um, I know that might sound hard to believe, but it's true. You know, I don't like having to haul this thing around just to go get water or something like that. It's a, more of a feeling of independence, right? You know, all the water I get is, is just given to me and I didn't have to ask for it. It just falls and I collect it.